Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a new tutorial brought to you by dmbteam.net I'm dmbteams the vampire and I have a little treat for the 4 Delta 1 community today what this treat is it is this program a name changing application developed by me and DMB the Sapphire with help from Losakin's 4 Delta 1 DLL um, name changing DLL so before I get to the program itself um, a couple people have contacted me that uh, have tested the program and had some issues and we were able to find what these issues is these issues are sorry so if you remember when you first created your 4 Delta 1 account you created your account whatever and hit this big download button which uh, gave you the uh, 4 Delta 1 installer right and then you selected your um, install folder which is usually this one and you launched it from here or, fr or from your uh, start menu but in any case so it would install it here and see users the username portion would be right here at data local and IW4M and you will launch this and that's that now many people had had issues with this option so what I say you should do is go to the uh, main page on 4 Delta 1 hit manual install and download the standalone client updater now you can save it open it whatever we're just gonna open it and we're, we're gonna leave it in the taskbar for now okay so this is the first part now we leave uh, we should close this or whatever and now here is my Modern Warfare 2 folder before you update your folder should look exactly and I mean exactly like this only these files in the uh, main folder and the corresponding folders uh, and files from zone miles and main players is optional if you have it already just leave it there because it should have your configs in any case and in the main folder you should only have from IW00 to IW23 and that's it and the localized English or whatever language you have and then any other mods or textures or whatever you're using is Z underline whatever dot IWD in any case so when your folder looks exactly and I mean exactly like this then you take these two files and ext extract them into your Modern Warfare 2 folder then we hit launch IW4M.exe and it will download the latest version of Modern Warfare 2 also you will use this um, you will use this uh, program the, this executable launch IW4M.exe to enter the game if you didn't know that I'm just gonna cancel this for now so uh, or actually I need to does this okay it blocks so I'm just gonna input my data hit OK please check your password again what okay now it works so here when we enter the game as you see I have my in-game name exactly like on the forums right now we don't want this if we there we want uh, to change our names right and we don't want to create another account or use whatever option was on 4 Delta 1 I don't remember something with a forum post or whatever doesn't matter so this is where our name changing program comes in now this is the name changer here is a little bit of extra info if you're interested and now let's test it so first of all we need to select our Modern Warfare 2 folder so we hit browse and I'm just going to select where my Modern Warfare 2 folder is right here and it says updates are available so that means that you don't have the latest version of the name changing application or you don't have it at, at all <laughs> like like it is right here so we hit the download button it asks us do you want to update it yes the program has been successfully updated we hit OK and let's see our Modern Warfare 2 folder now we see a IW4M underline back.dll which is a new file and ncv.txt which is also a new file so how does this program work well it creates it first creates this file called ncv.txt in your folder and here we have the latest version of the name changing uh, DLL which is 103 right now 
and it checks the your version with the version on our main server and if your version is equal or higher than our version then it will in then it will say you have the latest version already available if your value is lower like it's 103 here and 104 appeared for instance then it would say that you have you don't have the latest uh, version and updates are available okay so that's how the uh, program works and then also creates a backup from your old dll file so if you have any issues with our name changer you can just delete this one the iw4m.dll and just rename this one back to iw4m.dll okay so that's how it works and here to give you a better example here is our server and hi the here is the folder that hosts the ncv file so i'm gonna pretend right now that there is a new version 104 let's say i'm going to save it and we're gonna exit the application and enter it again we're going to enter our Modern Warfare 2 folder again, which is this one for me. And it says updates are available. Now, if you remember, we put here 104 on our master server. And in our for, uh, for folder, sorry, we have 103. So that means that there is a new version and we can update. So we hit download. Do you want to update it? Yes. We have successfully updated and the latest version has appeared in our ncv.txt file. I'm just going to edit this back and also on our master server put 103 back. So there are, there are no issues remaining. Okay, and here is the second portion of the uh, name changer, which is the change name. <laughs> of course. And we put our 4Delta4 four, four Delta 1 account name here, which is the vampire for me, our password and our in-game nickname. We're just going to select DMB test, let's say. We hit continue. Now it asks us if uh, we entered the correct data here. And yes, I did. The password again is blocked for security reasons. If you don't like this and you want to see your actually see your password here uh, on the review uh, dialog box, just tell us and we'll reconsider. But in any case, yes, I want to change my name and your nickname has been changed. And I have the latest version right now. So when I hit launch iw4m.exe, hey oh, we have our name changed in game. So it works. And here up top, we can see AMC by Los Akin, the custom DLL. We're going to quit. And now, if we want to change our name again, we enter the program. Again, we have to enter our Marware, Mar Modern Warfare 2 folder. Sorry, I'm kind of tired right now but in any case you have the latest version then change name again input our data uh, account password sorry and our in-game name I'm just going to set it my default which is DMB under uh, DMB the vampire okay successfully changed exit the application and test once more and there you go so this is the application itself if you have any um, issues if it doesn't load for you or you can't manage to make it work or do you have uh, maybe some improvements that you would like to see from the program just just contact us on the or post a uh, reply i'm sorry on the forum post which will be in the description of, of this video also i'm going to put a virustotal.com uh, link for this file in the video description again and yeah that's about it so until next time i'm dmb team the vampire dmb teams the vampire sorry <laughs> and